you know, it, it's every, every sport's different. Uh, Mike, you work a lot with MMA fighters uh, with that. So you have a different aspect of what you consider they're strong or strong enough to do that MMA, but it's not strong enough, let's say, for them to be able to compete in, uh, say, hockey or even football. Um, football is a lot of forces happen at every every snap of the ball. Uh, as a defensive tackle, you know, when I played my first year of semi-pro football, I was 30, 38 years old. You know, my best squat was 705. I just did that the year prior. Um, so I had a lot of absolute strength, but I had almost zero strength endurance. I could not last, you know, three hours of playing football in the summer heat. Um, so I had to actually change that to more strength endurance. So I had to let go of some of that absolute strength. But still, I was probably one of the stronger guys in the league, pound for pound, for that. But I had to have that because there's a lot of forces coming at me as a defensive tackle, and I had to be able to be resilient enough so I could play every game every week. Plus being 38 years of age, you know, my body's a little bit older than when I was 18 years old. So if I get an injury, it's going to take me a little bit longer to recover. So the stronger I go into the season, the better. So, you know, it depends as far as, as Stu McGill likes to say, it depends. Um, you know, it's one of those things that depends on the sport you're doing.